today I'm starting at 6.30, getting my teeth brushed. It's important to brush my teeth first thing. I like to use a tongue scraper. Feels good. I think it's good for your dental hygiene. I love it. I meander downstairs and I see the light and I'm like, oh my goodness, the morning light. I love it. Look how beautiful the flowers look in the morning light. I just want to take it all in and I want you to see it with me. The reflection on the refrigerator, the shadows, it's all things to be thankful for. And it's these little moments that get me through the day. These beautiful mosaics were made by my friend and artist Gina. And I just love that I get to see them every morning when I sit and drink my coffee or just even walking into the kitchen like this morning. Thank you for another day that I can breathe, that I can walk, that I can see with these eyes. I'm so happy that I get to go on this walk this morning because I'm not walking alone. A friend and neighbor called last night and wanted to walk with me. So I have that to look forward to. It just is so much better to walk with a friend. Nyla. It goes so much quicker. Good morning, Nyla. Good morning. Okay. Cool. I love that you walk fast. Do I? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep that. That sure got my heart going. And I was so hot. I got home and just stood in front of the fan for a little bit. Morning. Then I went to go see Stella, our Good little morning, rescue. Beautiful. She's really starting to get used to us. I'm thankful for her too. Good morning. I went on my walk. My, I, my glasses are getting steamed up. I have to use my glasses to see what's on the phone. I started my day with you this morning and showed you a little bit of what it was like. I got up early. I went for a walk with my friend and neighbor, Kim, down the street. I just started walking early in the morning the last couple weeks, so it's very new. And I had a friend to walk with and it makes it so much nicer. I mean, the only bad part is I forgot my Fitbit. I so rely on it, like to just, I don't know why I rely on it so much, but I do. So I, Sadly, did not have my Fitbit, but she was recording it on her phone, so I took a snapshot. I know I got a good walk in. Look at me, I'm red and I'm sweaty. I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of today, but I wanna kind of bring you with me. Um, RJ was telling me, RJ is our daughter, was telling me that maybe my, my little videos I do should be a little bit more interesting and not just sitting in one spot. So now I'm gonna have coffee. This is out of order for me. I've been doing breakfast then having coffee, but TMI, I'm having a hard time going to the bathroom now that I'm eating a lot of protein. I'm gonna have coffee and then I'm gonna eat breakfast and see if it does me any good at all. I don't know that it will, but we shall see. Having coffee in the morning has become a ritual for me. I look forward to it. It is one of my favorite parts of the day. I've started adding collagen to my coffee. I've actually been doing it for a while now. Not sure if it's making any sort of difference, but I do put it in the coffee and I like to use a little bit of half and half. I don't sweeten it with anything, just collagen, half and half. Give it a little zippity zippity stir up and then I can just go sit and enjoy it. Just sip on my coffee, look out the window at those beautiful mosaics, enjoy the morning light, and just take this moment for myself. It's important to me. It's Thursday morning. I'm enjoying this coffee I made and thinking about my day that I'm gonna take you along with me on. Should I go on an adventure? Should I go thrifting? What should I do? I don't even 
know. I mean, I know I have letters to write. I don't know if you want to sit in on a little letter writing. I could draw. The options are endless, but I do know that we have the market to look forward to this evening. And market for me does not mean grocery shopping. It means the farmer's market with music. And truth be told, I'm there for the music. I love to sit and just listen to the music, tap my feet, groove in my chair. That's what I'm there for. I will, I will go to some of the vendors, but mostly it's just about the, the chill. I just wanted to also add, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm gonna jump in the shower and you know, cool down after I finish drinking my coffee. But also, I'm gonna improve on this channel. I just want you to know, I wanna get a microphone. The sound quality is so not good, I, I apologize. But I'm learning, with every video I make, I'm learning and I'm gonna keep going and it's gonna get better, I promise. Stick with me and you'll see, you'll grow with me and you'll see these improvements and you'll be like, wow, if she can do it, I can do it. Not that you wanna do it, but I mean, if. If I can do it, you can do it. This is what I decided to wear today. I took my shower, I got ready. It's almost one o'clock, I'm gonna eat. You're probably wondering, what have you been doing since you're walking coffee and it's already one o'clock? Well, I'll tell ya, I talked to my mom on the phone for quite some time. I played with the new little kitty that we found and just, you know, chilled and enjoyed my morning. I'm so thankful I still have my mom to talk to. And I just thought this was important too, to show you what I'm wearing so you can see what I'm going out in the world in today. I know it's not for everybody, but I am about comfort. Always will be, it's just who I am. I'm like, how would I say? I think I'm a funky comfort girl. And I think it's kind of funny because when I was a little kid, I wanted my mom and dad to call me Baggy. I don't even know why, where that came from, but I insisted that they call me Baggy. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because I kind of, you know, I still embody that. And it's comfortable and I think that's what's important. I like my baseball cap and braids because it's easy and I also want to show you the perfume I love. I love this perfume. It's my all-time favorite, and I want to share it with you because oh, I just love it. And it was out of stock for so long, and it's back in stock, and we stocked up, and I have it back in my life again, and I'm just very happy for that. I don't care. I'm looking at myself because it's easier. I was trying to look at you in that little green thing, but... I can't see where the perfume is. It's like I'm blind. So I'm gonna look at myself. This is the vanilla perfume I use. I love it. It's from France, but really it's from Anthropology. That's where I get it. They were out of stock for the longest time, the longest time, and they got it back in stock. We got a little one first because the big ones were out of stock and on back order still, but they will be shipping soon. So this one came right away. Oh. <laughs> that was wrong. And, um, smells like cookies. If you like to smell like cookies and vanilla, this is for you. I'm about ready to eat lunch. I did eat breakfast, by the way, and you probably would like to see it. Maybe, maybe not, but here's my breakfast that I had today. Where should I put my hand? And I have plans. I'm gonna run to the mall with RJ, our daughter, get her iPhone fixed, it fell and cracked. We have a little, you know, Apple warranty thing. So we're gonna go to the mall. I'll bring you with, to the mall with us. And um, do I have anything else to say? I love these earrings and I got them from the farmer's market at a vendor there and I they're my new favorites because they're like, they're powerful. And it's like, it's like um, Harry Potter. Hmm. What should I eat? Where's my leftovers? I have leftover meat. And I have, oh, that's a little too carby probably. But I have leftover meat. Maybe I can put veggies in. This is the leftover meat I was talking about. It's a little bit of steak and some chicken. These were the potatoes from last night. Yeah, a little too carby. So I'm gonna try to find a green vegetable to put with my chicken for lunch. RJ brought some lettuce home from work. And I think I decided on steak. I think I'm gonna cut up the steak and make a little, a little salad with steak on it. 
I love cold steak. That's what it looks like so far. There was already some carrots and tomatoes in there. I'm gonna add this avocado green goddess and a little bit of fresh mozzarella and maybe a scoop of hummus and that will be my lunch today. Here's my salad and you might wanna know something about this dressing. It's a yogurt based dressing and today is perfect because it's a moderate carb, high protein day, 35 calories and most important, three grams of carbs. So that's pretty darn good and it, it tastes good to me. I'm gonna write Dear Olive a letter back. I started yesterday, this is as far as I got. Didn't get too far, did I? Uh, Olive is our cousin's daughter and I think it's so beautiful that Olive likes to write me letters. She's an old soul, so I write her letters back. Dear Olive, Thank you so much for the slime. I feel terrible that I didn't write back ASAP. And since I got that awesome slime from you, you had a birthday and are another year older. Happy late birthday. I hope you had the best day. I'm not sure if I told you, but in case I didn't, I really love the portrait you drew of me. You made me look so pretty. I taped it in my art journal. How have you been, dear Olive? Have you done anything fun this summer? I've been on two epic trips. First trip was to Texas on a girl's cousin's trip. And the other trip was to Arkansas to visit my mom and dad. I went with my BFF Rhonda, who I've known since I was four years young. She wanted me to tell you hello from her because when I told her about you, she said you have the coolest name. I hope this note finds you well. Lots of love. Love, Tracy. And this is how you write back a fresh 13 year old who's an old soul and a terrific artist and just a gem in this world, such an awesome human being. I wanted to share with you the letter I wrote to her as I showed you the envelope that I decorated. I, I didn't put too much pressure on myself, but I made a quick little drawing and I now got a letter out to my friend, my young friend. Okay, so it's worth to get Apple Pay because she got a whole new phone, but for 99 bucks, yes. but a whole new phone. It would have been 700. How can I help you? Hi, I would like a Keto Cafe Latte. Cheers. Cheers. Oh boy, that was a little more crazy than we thought. We thought we were cool with Apple. I got all the way home and then there was a glitch. So we went all the way back and now we're home again and everything's fine, but it was just a weird situation, but it's all good now. And guess who's got mail? I've actually been waiting to open this it's on a vlog. And so I've had to wait for like, two days. Don't you want to know what's in here? It says fragile. It is from the artist and friend I've been promoting on many of my videos. So many ideas. My friend Gina and she spoils me and I am not sure what this is. I have no clue what this is and I wanted to open it with you. Okay. So you could see when I see. And she she wrapped it quite uh, well. It's like, how am I gonna open this? I got my scissors. And then after this, we're gonna do the last thing for today. And we're gonna go to the market. I'm not gonna film much there. I'm just gonna do like, hey, here's the market. Have a great day. Cause I wanna enjoy the market and not worry about filming. What could this be? It's fragile. It's fragile. You do know one time she made me a, a wand. Because <laughs> uh, I love Harry Potter and she made me a special rainbow wand I should show you someday. <gasps> Holy mackerel. Are these separate? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know how to show you this. These are separates. 
And okay, <laughs> they're taped together right now, but you know what these are? These are hearts. And you know what they're for? They're to leave places so people can find them. And they could be like, oh, a heart. Oh, so now I have, and look at this one says, oh my gosh, this one says love. So guess who gets to hide hearts out in the world? I do. I get to hide hearts in the world for people to find. And maybe we can do that on one of my vlogs and I can go out in the world and I can hide hearts and people can find them and it'll make them so happy. And I thank you so much, Nina. I thank you so much. What's going on out there? This is so awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the market.